Well, welcome back, everyone. Well, my guest and I have something in common that we'd rather not have in common. Uh, she lost her best friend, and I lost my best friend to suicide. Uh, we became aware that Alicia Toussaint here, uh, in memory of her best friend, was putting together an event to help raise awareness for suicide and suicide prevention. So first, Alicia, welcome. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of an unusual interview for us. So I want to, I really just want to sort of jump into this. Uh, Alicia mentioned to me before we went on air that Nick was your friend, yeah. correct? Yeah. And what, what was the story there? Five years ago or so you said? Um, yeah, five years ago um, he committed suicide. Mm -hmm. And that made you aware of a lot of things you probably had never felt before. Yeah, um, yeah, I suffered from depression when I was a teenager, so um, he helped me through that. And then right. he, you know, turned around and did it, so it, uh, you know, hurt <laughs> and anger. <laughs> yes, of course, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I remember many of the feelings myself. I, uh, I told Alicia before we went on air, I couldn't drive a car for a day, and I was calling people I hadn't talked to in years. Yeah. You know, just reaching out, trying to get some, to make some sense of it, because a lot of suicide uh, stories, uh, they don't make sense. Yeah. You don't know why it happened, right? Yeah, out of the blue and... Sure. So now you contacted the national organization. What's the name of that organization? The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Right. And you found that was very helpful? Yes. Yeah. And in what way? Um, well, they help with um, funding scientific research. They help with programs to help people that um, are feeling like they might want to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. um, helping people that have had to survive and live with some, you know, the feelings after someone has committed suicide and right. just try and make everything or everyone aware of this issue. Right, and this, uh, and making people aware of the issue, that's, that's one side of it. Coping is the other side of it for family members and friends and people that were close to the person that decided to make this decision. Now, um, there are, and of course, you know, I'm sure you felt the same way. After the fact, I was like, I could have done something. I could have yeah. done something. Yeah, there's always the, you know, what ifs and right. always in the back of your mind. Yes, that's true. For years. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, so, it, you know, raising, a, there are telltale signs, right? Yes, there, there can be. Sometimes there, there isn't. But, um, right. yeah, you, there are some signs, um, you know, a good, big one is giving away possessions. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, some people, like Nick did, he was calling people that he hadn't really talked to in a while mm -hmm. and connecting with them. So, um, but, you know, unless, unless you're, like, really close to the situation, you might not catch these. That's right. So. Sure, of course. Now, the national organization, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, is helping Alicia uh, with this event that's coming up. It's this Sunday, by the way, August 9th. At Gavin Park? Yes. Yep. Right. Uh, best way to get to Gavin Park is head out Maple. It's near Maple Ave School, right? Yeah, yeah, right near the middle school. Right. Beautiful little park, by the way, uh, in tribute, right? Yes. Nick. <laughs> uh, but all uh, from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday, this Sunday, August 9, uh, all kinds of things going on there, uh, including you said that the Federation. Uh, gave you a bunch of brochures. Yeah, And yep. there will be someone there to be able to sort of, you know, help people. Many of us know people that we think might be at risk. Yes. Right? Uh, or having gone through the experience of support system and support groups. Oh, yeah. And all of that. So yep. there will be information at the event regarding suicide prevention. Uh, but the event itself sounds wonderful. And she put this together all herself. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love basket giveaways. Those are the best. Oh, yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. So to raise some money, uh, what kind of baskets are you going to raffle off? Um, the big one we have is a three-month membership, a family membership to the YMCA. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah. It's um, valued at over $280. So, Great. And, you know, get the family over there, swim, yeah. work out. You know, that's always good. <laughs> yes, that is always um, good. It's yeah. healthy. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and some other ones that are not so healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a steward's basket. Um, we have, I think it's uh, over $70 worth of gift certificates to stewards for ice cream mm -hmm. and, you know, all the delicious stewards' food. <laughs> yes, right. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we have a Saratoga-themed basket with a couple gift certificates um, for local businesses like the Saratoga Juice Bar, mm -hmm. um, Saratoga Sweets Candy Company donated 
um, a certificate, so that'll be good. And some mm -hmm. Bath and Body Works, which all mm -hmm. the ladies, you know, love Bath and Body Works. We have two baskets of those. Great. Uh, and by the way, you know, Alicia, is, is this a real sense of community here? Uh, you know, she was telling me that just this past weekend she was on Caroline Street for the table handing out brochures and trying to raise some money for the event. And it doesn't come in thousands and thousands of dollars. It comes at best in $10 or $5. Mm -hmm. She was telling me she was out there for the better part of eight hours to collect $90. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so it, uh, you give a real sense to the community to this. Now, uh, $12 for the event, right? Yep, $12 for a half chicken uh, meal. Good, okay. So. And she's trying to plan ahead, by the way, to make certain that you order enough of these meals. Yeah. So let's make certain that she has trouble. Yeah. <laughs> let's get out there and support this thing. Um, so for $12 this Sunday, August 9, in the afternoon from 1 to 5 p.m., you know, show up at Gavin Park and get a chicken lunch and, you know, uh, raffle off some of these, uh, a, a bid on these raffle items and uh and see what happens right raise yeah. some money <laughs> yeah. and that money goes where alicia it goes right to the american foundation for suicide prevention i got it okay yeah online we've already raised um over eight hundred dollars from t-shirt sales and just people um over the internet donating to our cause what's the web site it's um actually right here uh afsp.org okay and they have a charity donation form or site on there Mm -hmm. And you can look for Love, Hope, Awareness and donate right to our site there. Right. Uh, that's the name of this event, by the way, Love, Hope, Awareness. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> in memory of Nick. So, Alicia, thank you very much for coming in. Yes, yeah, thank you. And uh, best of luck on Sunday, raising the funds. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, again, thank you so much for this kind of community outreach. It's really yeah. something. Yeah, thank you for having us. You're welcome. <laughs> to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.